excuse me, how we doing, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> so I'm going to use my channel platform, my W Spivey, to do a few videos from time to time. And I'll talk like about various subjects or whatever on you guys that are struggling to uh, maybe find yourself a career, okay, during this so-called pandemic here. Let me, I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to uh, adjust this camera uh, here and my hands free here so y'all can get a better view of me and not just my... All right. Okay, that's better. So. Yeah. So during this pandemic, or oh, the so-called pandemic right here, I think that many job structures have changed, the world has changed, okay? A lot of people are laid off. We got about 60 million people out of work, okay? And people are trying to live off stimulus and unemployment. So what most people may have to do is try to find unprecedented ways to make money, okay, i.e. have maybe like a side hustle or let's just say, you know, the ladies, you guys can maybe sew and do hair and nails and stuff like that. Other ways that you can, you can make money, okay? And if you are getting unemployment or that stimulus or PUA or whatever, just so you know, the PUA is for gig workers that could not get the unemployment. But if you know what you're doing, you could probably like work, do your gig part-time and then figure out a way to do, you know, and get your uh, unemployment or PUA uh, part-time as well. You'll be able to put the two together as if you know what you're doing. So uh, in many cases, you cannot do the conventional way anymore. All right? Uh, so what I do is, I do like Lyft and I do Brody and I have Postmates. Now before I got into that, uh, I started doing this stuff in 2016. I joined Postmates in like last year, 2019. And I got into Brody in 2020, all right? But before then I worked in Petroleum Supply for like 20 years. Most of that time when I was in the Army. Uh, just so you know, I did like 13 years in the Army, and I did a couple of years in the Reserve. I was a combat engineer, a reclass in 1997, did uh, petroleum supply. And after I got out, I worked a few years over there in Iraq and Afghanistan contracting. Now, I made pretty good money at that time, but you have to look at, consider the situation where you're around, uh, you're in imminent danger, you're away from your family and so forth, so you go through a sacrifice. <clears throat> so after that, I worked at the airport, uh, fueling planes, and I went back overseas and tried to have my own business. But long story short, that when fuel tanked, and fuel has actually tanked now during this election year, that I ended up getting into Lyft and while I was doing my going back to school for, uh, for my bachelor's degree. And I was able to do uh, this job around uh, school and all that. So, and the money was pretty good here actually until probably like the summertime. And they started cutting into the pay. So, uh, now that I guess the state of California and Lyft is battling over this uh, employment status, or that is making Lyft into uh, full-time employees, now it's time to either, uh, to incorporate other apps. So that's just reason. Uh, this is the reason why I'm doing Postmates and I'm doing Roadie. Okay. So I kind of do the Lyft when I'm on the way somewhere, or if they're offering bonuses. And probably during the times that I'm not offering bonuses, I may do like Postmates, like uh, they could pay sometimes like $35 if you do like six runs or something like that, okay? 
A roadie just depends on what the orders are, okay? If they're like $40 orders, I may get out and do a ride that's if it's worth my time, okay? So you guys are gonna have to find ways to incorporate your, or to optimize your, your talents and so forth and be able to make a living off that, okay? You can't really rely on this corporate world anymore, all right? People that, that hire you and so forth, right? And I don't think that the government is going to keep allowing uh, you to get stimulus or uh, or even unemployment checks. How long does that last for? About a year? Maybe what, to the end of the year? So, in the end of the day, you are your own hustle. So you guys are going to have to try to find a way to do that. Uh, and that, uh, that includes uh, you guys that cook and we all have some type of special service skill. All right, you just have to just find out what it is and be able to put it into motion. So that's what I do. I am a, again, I am a successful business worker, uh, gig worker, I'm sorry, uh, slash self-employed. I mean, I don't like the fact that I have to put a lot of miles on my minivan, but other than that, hey, you know what? I'm making money, so hey, as long as you're making the check, you can't beat it. So that's my take on today, today's uh, word of the day. And while I'm on on that thought, you guys can check out my other channels, Street Rat 702, okay, and uh, the Remnant one. So on Street Rat 702, that's capital S-T-R-E-E-T 702. It's one combined word. No spaces, spelled exactly. Now, I just pretty much talk about a lot of attractions here in Las Vegas. I was hoping I could do a video one day and hit it big on YouTube. I started those, uh, developing those ideas when it, uh, as I went to uh, college at UNLV. And uh, the remnant one, that's uh, capital T H uh, R E M A N T. One, that is the number one. So on that, that's basically like a pro-truth channel uh, incorporated with scriptures that we talk, is, is talked about uh, different, like uh, world topics and COVID and life situations, that kind of, that kind of thing. I think I've been around long enough, okay, to have my, uh, have my own opinion or to tell my own story. So check out those channels. I'm gonna do one every now and then on this channel here, okay? I, I think I have a lot of good stuff to put out. And I would think that uh, you guys can learn something from me, okay? So I've been YouTubing for about five months now and I'm gonna be on YouTube for a minute and I ain't going nowhere. So feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you like this channel, check out them other channels too. All right, till next time, ladies and gentlemen.